Please state your name before starting your remarks, and if we can, let's start with Dave Archer. Hi, my name is. Can everybody hear me? No. Oh. Can everybody see you? No, we can't see the lights on. Let's have the lights on. Turn the lights on. I'm going to have to get closer. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, we'll do it this way. Hi, my name is Dave Archer, and I'm in 234. Um, we all arrived here almost eight years ago, and uh, immediately went to work in the building board as a secretary and the civil rec uh, representative. We were on the civil rec board for seven years, two and a half as the president. Currently, I'm working with the Roman Browns Committee and the Campus Tech Committee. I have a BS in business management and meteorology. Uh, I've had a fun life. Uh, facilitating courses for AMU, uh, Western Methodist University. Weather Commander at Buckley, where I retired. Charter member of the uh, National Weather Association. We certify media weather forecasters. And you, you listen to your morning or your night news, you'll see our logo in the bottom. I have been with Salvation Army Emergency Disaster Services uh, since the uh, Lyman tornadoes in 1990. I have had a chance to spend 20 years with the Odyssey of the Mind and Destination Imagination Group, uh, where we teach creativity and problem solving for students. I was the Colorado Problem Captain for the Balso Construction Project. That was 20 years of pure fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I've had uh, experience in commercial construction and I'm a safety officer for the Air Force and the Post Office. Heather Gardens is a fantastic community. It really is. From the facilities we have here, the staff that helps us, and the people, the residents. We watch this outfit grow. We didn't see the last parts of it uh, being built, but in uh, 1981, we were down the street about a mile on Yale. So we watched everything happening here. We've watched it grow since. I'm a volunteer, not a politician. So I listen, I encourage, I'm very flexible, and I enjoy open discussions. I have a sense of, and maybe it's just me as I get older, of growing apathy uh, and maybe a weakening loyalty on the campus, where we're not all behind some of I'd like to really work with that. I've also worked on open, timely, and direct communications with the board. Some, sometimes we have the feeling that uh, they never really hear what we're saying to them. That by the time it goes up through committees and the whole thing, um, maybe, maybe we ought to be able to get hold of their ear right, right from the start. And in spite of all the paperwork that we gin up here, there are a lot of people that don't know the basic operations of the community and how to use the committees to get things resolved. And, uh, things like this that they really should know. We've got to work on some of that. We've got some big changes coming up and much bigger decisions in the next three years. 